Using image maps with fiber effects is probably the, the best way to have ultimate control over how you place your fibers. So what I thought we could do is take a look at using a few image maps along with fiber effects. First, let's just take a quick look. If we go over to the image editor, I've loaded three images. I'm just gonna double click to make them uh, larger. And you can see here, um, all we're working with is black and white information uh, in this image. If I hop over to Modeler, you'll see this is the UV map uh, that was generated for this head. And if I come back to, to Layout, we're going to use this image to control some of the attributes. I also have another image that um, is right here, which is almost identical, except there's a lot more variation in the uh, black and white information. Okay, so we've got, um, instead of just being black or white, we've got some gray tones, we've got some mid-tones in there. And then the last image is uh, leopard print, which uh, I just realized is a very large image, but that's okay, we can, uh, we can still use it. So we use those three images uh, to take a look at uh, how we can use these images with fiber effects. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down, close this down. Let's add fiber effects, control F8, fiber filter, double click, and we have our fiber effects window. I'm just going to activate this object, turn on OpenGL drawing so that we can see the uh, the fibers and see that they're uh, way too big. So I'm just going to go 150 uh, and we definitely don't want it on all surfaces. So surface, I'm going to just choose the, uh, the, the surface that's the skin. I don't need the eyeballs in there. And uh, then for, um, for density, I'm going to type in 100 because we're going to do short hair uh, on this. Um, right now we, we can see in OpenGL that it's everywhere, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that image map, one of those image maps, to control the density, so where it's, where it's going to be placed. Let's go to T for texture editor. Image map is the layer type. Projection, I'm going to use a UV map and use that UV map that I showed you. And for the image, let's use um, the first image that we, that we saw. Okay, and I'm just going to refresh. OpenGL, and we can see that we're only putting the, the fibers where we want them based on the, remember that white is going to be 100% and black will be 0%. So where all that black was, I don't have any fibers, and where all the white was, I have, well, 100% fibers. Okay, and for scale, let's go ahead and use scale as well. So in this case, it's, um, it's going to look identical uh, for the most part, but let's go ahead and use image map, projection, UV. The UV map will be the same UV map, the only one that's on this object. And for the image, we'll use the same image. Okay, let's do a, a quick render just to take a look. Okay, so we can see uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is get rid of a lot of that kink. But we can at least see that we've got uh, the, the fibers uh, growing where the white values are. And, of course, it's black and white information, 100% uh, and 0%. So we're not seeing any variation in the hair based on the image map. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of that kink. Um, uh, it's looking kind of frizzy there. Okay, but w let's take a look at swapping out this image for the second image we looked at. And you can see there's a lot more variation in the values. Okay, so let's take a look at using that in scale as well. You don't have to use the same image map, but in this case, uh, it's going to work out pretty well for us. So let's do a render with that. Okay, and uh, as you can see, we've got because of the variation in the black and white information, we've got longer hair where the white values were, and then where the, the mid-level and, and the closer we get to black, it gets much shorter. So without having to paint uh, a detailed weight map, or if we don't have the enough, if we don't have enough points on our geometry to paint a detailed weight map, which is usually the case uh, for this kind of detail, uh, then the, the best way to control it is with an image map. Of course, uh, I'm not quite sure why somebody would want to, uh, to buzz the front of their hairline right here. So I, I would probably want to go back and change that, uh, change that image a little bit. But it's just to give you an idea that you can have the hair fade off. If you wanted little baby hairs that grow uh, along the hairline, you could easily do that uh, down to the pixel on the, on the image map. Okay, and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at dressing this up some more. So let's come back over to the fiber effects window and for color, for the color mode, we're going to change that to textured and that gives us access to the texture editor. Uh, image map, projection, we'll use a U, the same UV map and for the image, let's use the uh, leopard print that we saw earlier. 
Okay, go ahead and close that down. So now, not only can I use uh, image maps to control the attributes as far as placement and uh, scale and things like that, I can go in and use it to surface the hairs, to surface the fibers as well. So let's do a, a quick render. Okay, so there we go. Now we have uh, some, uh, some leopard hair going on there based off of the uh, based off of the image map that we fed into the fibers. So this is just a quick look at how we can use image maps to, can, uh, to further refine fiber effect settings. Anywhere you see a T for texture editor, we can use an image map. Uh, as well as procedurals and gradients, uh, but image maps are going to give you the the finest control possible because you can paint detail anywhere you want and it won't be limited to where you have points uh, or polys on the geometry. So again, quick look at using image maps with fiber effects in Lightwave.